My original inspiration for doing this actually was, uh, was Maradam School in, in uh, Tiruvannamalai. The uh, school in Maradam uh, is my idea actually of, uh, of all the schools I've ever seen is an ideal school. When I first met them, they have been doing for five years, they'd been doing uh, their own craft mela. The leading uh, people on the planet were the craftsmen, were the tradesmen, the craftsmen, these people and their intelligence. It doesn't mean they don't have an intelligence in their head, but they also have an intelligence in their hands. And the, and the, and the, and the relationship between these two intelligence was capable of producing uh, extraordinary works of art and extraordinary works of craft that nobody now is capable of, of, of doing. So having worked in Oroville with children and always um, with what I call with creative expression, so that to try to work with children in ways of expressing themselves they can express themselves with words and songs as well, but primarily to express themselves by creating things, by making, by shaping, by, by doing things with clay, with metal, with wood, with straw, with, with whatever materials are, are available. So we put together uh, our first mela three years ago here in the, in the youth centre, and, uh, and we brought up from Tiruvannamalai about, uh, I think, ten different craftsmen uh, from Tiruvannamalai, from Hampi, for, like I say, from Ramaswaram. I think the first year we had 300 children. 300 children, 20 different crafts pe people we managed to put together. And as you can see, it's a, it's also is a way of, uh, of relating to the local children and the local environment, because we're dealing with, really, with, with mostly poor children. These people aren't sitting around looking at phones all day, you know, and they're, 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 and you can see that they obviously come from an environment where their parents or they, they know what it is to use their hands, you know, they, 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 and so already they have some skill. Some of these craftsmen are, 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 are treasures, you know, so you would never, you know, like I keep saying to the children, the opportunity to do a lost wax sculpture is something that no other child on the planet has access to, you know. Some of these craftsmen actually sacrifice their time to come and work with us. They do also enjoy the idea of passing on the skill. This is the thing, particularly, particularly the women and the old palm weaving and the crocheting and these skills, the women in particular, when you, when you ask them, about how they feel about the whole thing, they start crying, you know, and they say, no, for, for us it's such a joy to be able to find people who want to do what we're doing, you know, because it gives it value, and also we feel that it's, it's keeping it alive. 